Welcome everyone to this video. Today we're talking about how to maximize and optimize your Brave web browser for maximum privacy, security, and performance. Now please be aware that the Brave web browser does offer lots of customization. We're not going to go through every individual setting. We're going to focus on the main key points. Before anything, come to the menu in the top right, go down to help and click on about Brave just to confirm you are up to date with the most recent update, which do include security, updates as well as optimization and new features. Now when it comes to privacy and security, one of the biggest features that Brave has to offer is when you go to a website up here on the top right hand side, you'll notice the little shield icon. And this is per website. And so if I go to a different website, we can see information that's being reported is a little bit different. Please note that when the shield is turned on, it may cause issues or things to break on the website, but that's the trade-off to increasing privacy and security. When you click on the advanced controls, it will extend the list to give some additional options. These are the default settings. Now, if I come here to make a change, it's going to set and save that setting specific to the website that I am viewing and changing it on. You can set everything to the max. For example, I can get more aggressive on blocking trackers and ads. I can make sure that I only connect with HTTPS websites. I can block scripts, get more aggressive on blocking fingerprinting, as well as getting more aggressive on blocking all cookies. I can set it to forget me when I close this site. And again, if I change any of these things, it's saving it specific to the website that's being viewed, or I can go to the global defaults. If I click on this, we'll see those same options and settings right here. But if I change it here, it will apply it to every website that I visit. So for example, we can see over here on this first option, we're just on the middle default option. If I come over here to the global settings, I can change this to be more aggressive. If I come back here, we can see that this is now updated to the top option. Now, please be aware that this is all found underneath shields in settings. You can get two settings up here on the top right and go to the settings option. Now down here below, there are some additional options uh, you will want to check each one out. For the most part, you can stick with the default settings. Social media, if you want to increase privacy, you're going to go ahead and want to turn these off so they're not allowed. Just please be aware that anything that's embedded in a website, you're not going to be able to view if you turn these off, but it will increase privacy. Also, you will want to visit the privacy and security section. Again, for the most part, you'll want to leave these on default, but please go through each individual setting. For example, web RTC. You can leave that as default for the most part. If you don't trust Google, turn this off. And then if you don't trust anonymous telemetry or analytics, you'll want to turn off all of these options. Here you can clear your browsing data. You'll have basic, advanced, and you can even set certain things to clear on exit, which is very nice. Here you can control cookies. If I click into it, we're just set to the default option. You could block all cookies, but just please be aware that there's a very good likelihood that will break uh, certain functionality on the website. If you do use the block all option, I would at least recommend coming down here and adding exceptions to certain websites if you need to, so that way they don't break. You could also clear cookies when closing all your windows. And then also, I would enable the do not track option. Just please be aware it's up to websites to honor this. They may not. And then if I go back, there is a security section here. At minimum, you should at least be on the standard protection. And then as far as the DNS, I would at minimum select Cloudflare. The privacy community would probably recommend other options, but again, at minimum, just use Cloudflare or set a custom or different one if you'd like to do so here. If I go back again, site and shield settings, if I click into this one, here you can view permissions and data stored for individual sites if you need to delete or clear it out as well as shield statuses. You can add websites that you want the shield down for or always up. Generally, I would not recommend adding anything underneath shields down unless you have a specific use case. I would go through and double check all of these options, but especially make sure on location camera and microphone, these are very sensitive information. And so if you come in here, I would at least set it to don't allow unless you have a specific use case for it for each one, just to make sure these are not being accessed by websites you're visiting. But again, you'll want to come down here and just view every single option. Just make sure that they're set for websites that you know and trust. And there are quite a few options. And so you just want to make sure you take the time to review each and every one. The more you turn off, generally the more secure and private your web browser will be. If I go to Leo, which is the built-in AI assistant, 
I can come over here to the sidebar and right here, this is Leo. Now, if you trust this AI tool and you trust that they're not collecting anything, you could leave it on. If you don't trust it, I would turn it off, which is located right here and you can clear the Leo data here. You do have an option to sync your data across multiple devices. Just please be aware that if you're syncing browser data to a device that someone else has access to, this is not a secure or private option you should be using. So just be conscious as to what you are syncing and to where you are syncing it. Right here, you can change your search engine. I have had good results with the Brave option. I would suggest giving it a try, but you can change it if you don't like Brave to something else. Just stay away from Google. And then generally for maximum privacy, you're going to want to leave these off. And then right here, extensions. Anyone familiar with my channel knows that I do not recommend using extensions. And so manage extensions. If you have any, I would strongly recommend you come here and remove them. And that's because extensions are a privacy and malware nightmare. It's best just to stay away from them. Autofill and passwords. Generally, I would recommend leaving these off, especially if someone else has access to your device, your computer it makes it very easy for them to make an unauthorized purchase or to gain access to things they should not. I would also recommend using a dedicated password manager, not your browser. Underneath system, there is a memory saver option if you are running out of memory or using an older device. Also just make sure if available, use hardware acceleration, make sure that's enabled. And then if at any point you need to reset everything back to default, there is a reset option. You can do so right here. Now, one other big feature that Brave offers that most other web browsers do not is if I come up here to the menu in the top right, we do have the standard private window option, but Brave offers a new private window with Tor. This is not a substitute for the Tor browser, but having this built in as an option, which will hide your IP address is very good. It's nice to see this here. So just be aware that you do have this option. Websites will run slower and some websites will not run at all, but just please be aware that you do have this option here to greatly increase privacy and most other browsers do not offer this option. Now, those were the main things. Again, there were a lot of options. You can really get deep into the customization. Brave is becoming a much more popular web browser and it has been for a while now. If you haven't given it a shot, I definitely would recommend trying it out. They definitely are focused on privacy and security. But that's everything for this video. If you have any comments or questions, please post them down below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please consider sharing it. And if you would like to support this channel, go ahead and hit the join button, the subscribe button, the thanks button, and that bell notification icon to get notifications on future videos. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you have a great day.